ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is James Spann with the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 17th day of January. After a few snowflakes and ice pellets across parts of Alabama yesterday, the attention now turns to the possibility of another Maybe more significant storm tomorrow night and Saturday. Let's talk about it. Let's go right to some sky cam shots early this morning. And we'll begin up at uh, Mount Sheehaw. You know, for 98% of Alabama, there were no travel problems yesterday. Temperatures were above freezing. That's the one exception. And uh, this morning, Sheehaw is snow-covered. Travel is treacherous. Now, they're sitting at 29 degrees. And it's just amazing what we see with the sky cam up there. And uh, as the clouds lift a little bit today, I think we'll really get an idea of the conditions up there. But that's the view early this morning. Uh, Gadsden, still some snow down on the ground up there on the uh, on Lookout Mountain overlooking the city of Gadsden. But again, the roads are fine uh, across the state this morning. Readings above freezing. And the same thing from Cullman. You can see still some snow left over on the ground. But down below, the road surfaces are just fine. And they will be fine throughout the day today. Okay, we've still got a southwest flow aloft here. The uh, the system that brought the rain and the uh, wintry mix yesterday, that's off to the east, and uh, we kind of turn our attention to the west and, and that trough and how it spins off the next storm will determine what happens here, the placement of the surface low in the gulf, and that'll be our focus for this morning. The real story, though, one thing I'll guarantee is the uh, Arctic blast for the weekend. Look at the numbers behind the Arctic front. I see a 17 below zero up at International Falls, Minnesota this morning. And uh, you've got temperatures in the single digits down into the Oklahoma panhandle around Gage, Oklahoma. Looks like Trinidad, Colorado is sitting at one degree. It's going to be cold this weekend. And that, that's going to be the distinguishing factor if we see anything Saturday. We're going to see some really cold air involved here. And uh, this thing yesterday just didn't have it. Uh, that's why we had no travel issues. It just wasn't that cold. And let's just jump right into the model output here. Uh, let's go to the GFS. This is valid at noon today. And we'll start at 500 millibars. This is about 18,000 feet off the ground. Southwest flow aloft. So the sky should stay mostly cloudy today. And I guess you can't rule out a sprinkle or two somewhere, but I think most of the day will be dry. There's the surface chart. The storm we had yesterday is... Uh, sitting there near Charleston, and uh, we'll expect upper 40s today, something like that. Uh, tomorrow, one trough rotates up to the northeast. There's our system over Old Mexico, and that'll be the one that spins up another storm in the Gulf. At the surface tomorrow, we should be dry, and again, uh, we might uh, reach 50 tomorrow. Certainly no issues tomorrow during the day. Very cold Arctic air north of here, and there's our surface system in the Gulf of Mexico. We'll go to Friday night on the GFS, and it's got rain showing up into, uh, well, almost to Montgomery with that storm in the Gulf. But wait, let's look at the NAM at midnight Friday night. And let me just say now that the NAM did indeed perform better with this system yesterday by far, which gives it a little more credibility looking at the weekend here. Again, this is midnight Friday night. The uh, zero line at 8.50, which can be a pretty decent rain-snow line, is uh, a little below Birmingham. Let's go to Saturday morning at 6 o'clock. Surface low developing nicely near Gulf Shores. Zero-degree line to Montgomery, and that would suggest a very major snow event for North Alabama, especially the interstate 2059 corridor, and we'll go to midday Saturday. The zero degree line is below Montgomery. Heaviest precipitation with this again would really be right over Birmingham if this is right. And understand uh, the precipitation amounts we're looking at here. This would suggest uh, over five inches of snow here, five to ten inches, a big one. And then uh, six o'clock Saturday, the minus ten line is down to Birmingham. Windy. Uh, very cold. We'd be in the 20s. Uh, wind chill values in the single digits. The snow tapering off there uh, Saturday afternoon. Uh, but hang on here. Let's look at the GFS. This is at midday Saturday. It's got almost everything south of here, south of Montgomery. 
So if you believe the GFS, Birmingham would have nothing. So it's it's almost like if you look at these two models and assume that one of those two solutions is correct, it's all or nothing. A major snowstorm or nothing here. Well, let's look at another model. This is the UK Met, valid at Saturday morning at 6 o'clock. And I will say that this model performed pretty well with this thing yesterday. Looking, I don't want to show, we don't show this one a lot, but this is Saturday morning at 6 o'clock. It has the critical thickness value up there closer to Huntsville, but it's got a big precipitation mass well up into Alabama, in fact, up into Tennessee. And this would be a little more supportive of the NAM. And again, uh, based on the fact that the NAM did so well with the system yesterday, I think you have to lean at least in that direction. No, we're not going to come on here and say we got a major snowstorm coming up, but I'm saying it's not out of the question, and I do think we need to mention snow uh, Saturday morning. And uh, we'll just kind of leave it at that for now and, and fine-tune that. But certainly, it's got to be in there. And then Sunday, back to the GFS. Of course, it's all out of here. Sunday morning will be very cold. Now, look, if we've got snow on the ground Sunday morning, we go in the single digits. If no snow, we'll be in the upper teens. Uh, so that'll be an interesting forecast as well. And then uh, Monday of next week, of course, we'll be dry. We start to moderate. And uh, uh, we'll, we'll go through next week. Of course, we're, you, know, you know what I'm going to say. We've got to get the system Saturday out of here before we deal with that. There's a look at Tuesday. Uh, rain returns Wednesday. Hey, we stay wet. And then Thursday, the trough finally uh, begins to roll through here, and Thursday looks wet. But the GFS is really struggling. I mean, look, it's struggling in the short term. It's struggling in the long term. Uh, I'm not real confident this is the right solution. I do think there's no doubt we'll have some rain in here next week. And with that Arctic air, there could be some ice on the northern periphery of that somewhere, probably a bit north of Alabama, but something to think about. And quickly, at the end of the cycle, this is the uh, 1st of February. Boy, the time is flying along here, and that's more of a zonal flow, and uh, that suggests pretty calm weather. But again, we got a whole lot of time before we get there. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. Notes on the blog, the next video here by 3.30 or so today. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. And stay tuned to the blog. It'll be fun to watch the 12Z models rolling in. Uh, we'll have the next one here at 3.30. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.